Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Today I'm going to show you how to use potato chips, Lay's potato chips, Pringles, the, the greasier the better, potato chips as a fire starter. Is it possible to use chips as a fire starter. Absolutely. As I'll demonstrate in this video, the greasier the better. These uh, Lay's aren't actually that greasy. I should have bought a regular bag, a big old bag of regular Lay's dipping chips, but boy, I'm, I'm just sal salivating thinking about eating this. But on a backpacking trip or an adventure, and oh man, I'm, I'm, I've got this, but I can't get anything started. Could I get something going to burn? Yes. Now, chips require an open flame to start. You can spark them all day and it just won't happen. But if you use cotton balls or tampons or wipes or anything that you can get an open flame going, then you can actually keep feeding chips into the fire. And that's what I'm going to show you right now is if you apply this flame to the chips, you have something that will burn. Okay. <clears throat> So let's see if this works. I'm going to add my open flame to the potato chip and we're going to see if we can get it lit. All right, let's see. Come on, baby. There's a little flame. Now note that this technique is weak. It's very easy to put the potato chip out. But if you can get enough flame going, you can perhaps light a second potato chip. And I notice it's not that powerful, but you get a couple going. And we're going to have something exciting here. There we go. There you go. So see that oil and grease in the potato chip is quite flammable. And that is more than adequate to get your fire started. So if you're having trouble with tender, you can always use your Lay's potato chips to get your fire going. Check that out. How cool is this? As you saw, once I got the potato chips burning, they actually burn for a long time and they're still smoldering. Check that out. Smoldering potato chips. So as you can see in an emergency situation, besides eating these things and uh, sitting there freezing, but you're actually eating a fire starter. Granted, you have to have an open flame, but check out one of my other videos about using tampons, cotton balls, Q-tips, just about anything to get an open flame going, and you might be able to get this chip burning. It does take a little bit of flame contact to get it going, but boy, this works super well, and it sure tastes good. My name's Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Please like and comment on my video, and if you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy your outdoor adventures.